Okay, so he plays that and then he slides down to frets. Whoops, I'm losing the air to the picture there, sorry. So, just to go through that again, so here we go with the, uh, you get that D, okay? Then slide up to what I think is that A, uh, A6. Slide down two frets. And that might be a ninth, uh, an A ninth. Um, it's got a, uh, uh, what's the ninth there? The ninth is a B, and there's a B in here. Okay. And you slide down here, and this is an A with a B on the bass. Now, you can fret this another way. You can fret it up here at the seventh fret, barring across all the strings, and then fretting the sixth string at the ninth fret. There's your A. And then you add this B on the bass, and you can hear that. You can hear that B. But I have a hard time playing that, so I re-fingered it down here. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm not playing the sixth string, I'm barring across the fourth and fifth strings at the second fret, fretting the third string at the third fret, the fourth string at the fourth fret. Okay, and then you hear this little slide. And that's where you can actually hear that B. Again, it's not a it's not a B because of the capo, but okay. This is uh, in standard tuning. It would be a C power chord or a C. Well, it wouldn't even be a power chord if you're doing all three. It'd be a C chord, but um, it's fretted the same way. You're barring across the first five strings at the, th at the third fret, and then the second, third, and fourth string at the fifth fret. Doesn't sound like a C, do, does it? Okay, so it goes. Okay, and then that's back to that E7, E minor 7, sir. Okay, so um, slowly then. Then back into it, back into the verse the second time. Now the second playthrough of the verse is different. They again start out on this uh, uh, this D voiced in the higher higher uh, voicing. The last two strums though are open. Then you go up to the seventh fret, mute the sixth string, play the fifth string open, and everything else barred at the seventh. That's an A. Down to the uh, second fret, bar across everything, and use. Um, then you go. Like this. Okay, that's the first string fretted and pulled off at the fourth fret. Slide up to the fifth fret, which is a G. Back down to that E minor seven. this little lick. And he goes into the verse again. Um, now the chorus, um, the chorus is like this. It starts out, it's got some pretty powerful strumming on it. It starts out with an open D. Fifth fret, that's a G, okay? Back to the E minor 7. Okay, from the E minor 7 to that uh, A sus 4. Back to the E minor 7. Okay, now you're going to the E minor 7, you're going to an A11. And the way I'm fretting that A11 is uh, this second string, second fret, and the third string, third fret. Why is that an A11? Well, because it doesn't have a fifth, and it doesn't have a third, but it does have the eleventh, which is the D. Okay, 
And an eleventh chord typically resolves to a chord whose root is the eleventh of the eleventh chord. The eleventh of A11 is D. This is going to resolve through this chorus to a D. Okay? That sounds nice. It's a nice result. Anyway, you don't get there quite yet though, so you start with an open D to a G, uh, to a uh, E minor 7. to that A7 sus4, back to the E minor 7, to the E minor 7, to the A11, to a G, to an E minor 7, okay? Then you repeat, open D, G, E minor 7, And you get to the last part of the chorus, which is what a way to ride, what a way to go. And that's all fairly powerful strums on, on the beat. So you're going a G. Okay, that's a G. Now I'm, I'm playing a G differently at this point because I find it a pain to go from this bar up to here on all these. So I... I'm playing this with the 5th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 1st fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret, okay? G, A7, sus4, back to the G, open D, E minor 7, A11, and there's your resolve to the D, okay? So here it is. <laughs> okay, and then you're back into uh, back into the song. The outro, which is the part where they're singing uh, in French, uh, "J'arrive Acadie," "Je suis Acadie," stuff like that, and then that "Tidalum Tidalou" stuff, is um, it's the same chord progression as the introduction. Okay. Anyway, this is a really fun song to learn. It's got some really cool guitar work in it. Um, it was a real challenge for me. Once I figured out that it was an open D, it was uh, much more straightforward, although the chord voicings are, are just so different from, uh, from what you get in standard, I think, that it, it, that was a challenge as well. But it's a really fun challenge, and uh, I hope this lesson was helpful. Mm -hmm.